Rolls Royce went and had their biggest year ever. Rolls Royce heralds momentous year as car sales exceed 6,000 for the first time. Um, uh, for the first time in 118-year history, the company saw particularly strong year-on-year growth in the Middle East, Asia Pacific, and U.S. and Europe in 2022 with a single-digit drop in sales in greater China. Interesting. So China bought fewer Rolls Royce. Everybody else bought more, which was successfully counterbalanced by increased sales in other markets. Some 6,021 cars were delivered to customers last year, an increase of 8% from 2021 with demand for all models remaining exceptionally strong and advanced orders secured. Far into 2023, the value of uh, bespoke uh, bespoke uh, commissions also reached record level highs with clients willing to pay around a half a million dollar, half a million euros for a unique Rolls Royce. Mm-hmm. Adam, what are the chances of you one day owning a Rolls Royce? Well, thank you for teeing that up. You know, I was talking to my Rolls Royce dealers that I, dealers that I deal with. Wait, plural, I, I, right? Multiple, plural? Multiple. Right, multiple. You know, I've got a couple. I'm vetting them yeah. just to make sure I'm getting the best deal on the Rolls Royce. Tell them I said hello about yeah. Tell John I said hi. Yanni. Well, I, I will say that, you know, my Roy- Rolls Royce. They're probably mostly Royce- Middle Eastern. 100%. Yeah. My Rolls Royce dealers know your Rolex dealers. They're in communication. Yeah. They're Love trying to Rolls. do a two-for-one deal. Good. Uh, I don't know what percentage of the world is even looking into buying a Rolls Royce. 6,021 of them. Yeah, okay. So uh, uh, Out of 8 billion. Out of 8 billion, yeah. This is a very small market. But I guess w- where I'm going with this is we just read the article about if w- whether it's a Rolex or an Audemars Piquet or what's our other AP. friend? Uh, yeah, 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 all the Or uh, Philippe Pertic. You know, you, you know it's expensive when you start <laughs> talking like this. <laughs> you and that's not it, even your accent. All I, of a sudden, I'm talking about I'm that. Rich. Uh, Philippe Pertic uh, yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. But like... The first things to go are your wants, right? Like you talked about whether it's watches, anything with a motor, cars, uh, you know, boats, motorcycles, all that. So I guess I'm, my question is I'm grappling with if all these wants are going down, luxury goods, why are Rolls Royce going up? Because my guess is the rich have gotten richer, the poor Damn have gotten right. poorer. Like you could be a paycheck to paycheck guy. You can make a hundred grand a year. And you're like, you know what? I kind of want that freaking Ro- uh, that Rolex. Mm-hmm. And you'll spend some money on a watch. You ain't doing that with the Rolls Royce. No. Rolls Royce is for the elite of the elite of the elite of the elite. It comes with the driver. Yes, exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> so right now I'm just negotiating with my two or three uh, Rolls Royce dealers and I'm seeing what I can come up yeah. with right now. But now's a good time to... Uh, to <clears throat> find these luxury assets on a good uh, Tom, a good do you agree deal. with them? The fact that the, to the rich, you know, by the way, I just did a number right now. If a person bought a Rolls Royce yesterday, 6,021 of them sold. We got 8 million people. You ever heard that song, you're one in a million? You're one in a million. million. You're officially one in 1.328682 million people mm-hmm. that bought a Rolls Royce. The lottery. How like much is a Rolls Royce? How many half hundred a million. Grand? Half, yeah, a million. half a million. Half a million. Yeah. Half a million bucks. Like how Pat just it's spits like that a, number like out real quick. The Phantoms, that's the world. Ro- the Phantom? Phantom's going to be six fifty. It's a more expensive. Dawn is going to be four hundred grand. A Ghost is going to be three three fifty. Drop head. You're you dropped. You, you're mm-hmm. looking at anywhere between three fifty to seven hundred thousand. Well, I, I how I much is that right there? How much is a Maybach? Oh, f- Maybach, Maybach is about three hundred thousand dollars. Well, oh, oh, by the way, what? congratulations on the new car I just saw sitting yeah. out there. Yeah, I, I love that. Tell car. me about Pat, that car. Pat, but so you got rid of one car to get this one? No, got- I didn't get rid of it. The uh, other one is in the garage. You just just sleeping. It's yeah, chilling. I just trying to get rid of it. of it. But this one, the Porsche Turbo S, it's sick. Cabriolet. Oh my god! Ridiculous. I am in love. So you're not getting. I'm rid- not even kidding with you. I'm in love. That's sick. Now, yeah, I mean, it, it's zero to sixty two point two seconds. Comfortable. Comfortable. It's big, it's big yeah. inside. You have to sit in it. I to, can't. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to take Because it's start, small from the outside. Today, no? Yeah, so we're we, having I'm going to take today. you. You're yeah. going to see how it goes. You have a deal. You're, you're going to sit there and you're going to say, holy shit. You'll see when it flies. It's, it's an amazing and so, drive. So bad. When you drive a car that's worth, okay, that's a really, that's a house. Four hundred sixty thousand yeah. dollars, literally. House. Like somebody's driving that for you. You're not yeah. people. I don't see that many people that that. If that's your car, because bro, any dink, any anything, that's like a car. Like you have to pay like how much? Ten thousand? So anything on any damage under this? Your rims, your everything? It's ridiculous. First isn't of it? all, when I when I had the dawn, I had a flat tire. Tom, you can correct me if I'm exaggerating. Okay, <laughs> over a two-year period, I drove it every day. Yeah, how many flat tires did I have? Honestly, in two years? In two years, like two of them, or two of them per month? Oh, so you weren't you 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 you, you called Jen right now? No, I remember has- the but I remember the first one where you call the number, you suddenly hear helicopters overhead, <laughs> guys first are all, dropping down on ropes, and they're suddenly changing the. Changing your tire the and apologizing. I had I probably had twelve flat tires in two years. 
with the Rolls Royce. That's why. What's but let up me with tell you what tire? happened. Here's what? what would happen. They come, they pick it up, they go change the tires. No one bitches. They bring it back to you. That's the, it. The service is ridiculous. Well, well, I would hope you get that same type of service. Well, you're spending a half a million dollars. You don't get on a that service with Mercedes. Oh no! You, way. you don't get that's, that service with Mercedes, and you could spend a couple hundred thousand dollars. No, no, but that's still. Yeah. But you get the service with them. The level of details, like the the leather they use inside, is with cows who have never had mosquito bites. <laughs> what? Are you joking? No, no. I'm telling you. Oh like, my! No, no. God. I'm telling you. Like oh. the, the the stuff. The story, when you see the story behind what they do. The floor mats and, and are real wool. Yeah, like, the, 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 by the way, the hand, like the, you, the what do you call it, steering, steering wheel, wheel. The leather on the steering wheel is like only four people in the world that sew all of them mm-hmm. on. And right. the way they do it, it's like, the more and more you hear those stories, everything is like hand, the, the, the clock in the middle, the watch in the middle. The, the level of ingenuity yes. and detail to att- attention on to a detail rolls? Forget. on the rolls. It's ridiculous. Gotcha. So just don't go to a Rolls Royce dealership because yeah. when they start talking to you like this, you literally all you're like, you are gonna buy a Rolls Royce. I don't. You I can't. love yeah. Rolls Royce. I can't uh-huh. eggs. You will max I can't. out your yeah. credit cards and I, get a Rolls Royce. Happening. I don't care if eggs are expensive. <laughs> Rolls Royce is cheap. That's what they're gonna do to you. And you're like, oh shit, ma, I got a Rolls. <laughs> <laughs> I should buy a Rolls. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. but I got it. It's on well, dad's credit. It's yeah. on mom's credit. On the on the inner uh, uh, of the Rolls Royce on the dashboard, you know, they have the the, the yeah. clock. It's a very fancy clock. It's actually built from human skin that has never had a mosquito bite. Wow, it's crazy. Oh, that stop. is never- insane. Okay. You can, no. But by the way, here's a little tip to save that money. If you're gonna, if you're interested in a Rolls Royce, here's what you do: you go to the car dealership, you go, you go right up to the dealer, and you say, "Show me where the Chrysler 300s are." Yeah. You go buy that. Same car. You go steal the Rolls Royce uh, insignia off Pat's car. Yeah. You you glue that on. Yeah. You take your girl not to a, a hot date restaurant. You take her to Publix. Publix gets now we're saving that freaking money. Look at that, here. dude. That's we're driving such Chrysler a- 300s. We're not driving Rolls's. We're not eating out at the fin- fancy restaurants. We're saving money on That's- eggs. This is your game plan for 2023, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think this is good. I'll tell you why I think it's good. Because there's a lot of people that are taking pride in their work who will never own a Rolls Royce that are building them and have jobs at that company. Mm, Yeah. Get back to the biz, Doug. No, no. I mean, people say, oh, the rich are getting richer. Yeah, but they're buying things that are built by other people who have a really good job doing that. So I kind of look at it as... Like, as net benefit because there's there's there are four or five people that make whatever they make a year that are sewing leather and are doing leather selection and everything. <laughs> what do you do? I do leather selection for Rolls Royce, so it's perfect. Yeah. That's a car. By make. the way, once and every podcast, I try to give the biz doc shout out for when he hits nail on the head. That's Boom. The one. Here we go. If you hate rich people, listen to what Tom just said. For all those six thousand people that are buying Rolls Royces out there, how many jobs has this created? Whether you're doing the leather and the wheels and the steering wheel, all this stuff, or you're selling one in Miami. Uh. Jobs are being created because rich people want luxury. And bro, can items. You, do you, can, can I you, this is totally random, but that's how my brain works. Do you think those Rolls Royce cows know that they're like, guys? <laughs> First of all, zero mosquitoes, <laughs> number one. <laughs> and Pat, and Pat, number two, ready for this? Because all the other ones are going to die and go to whatever. Yeah. And they're like, guys, <laughs> when I die, I'm going to be seats and a steering wheel. In you guys Rolls are going to be boots on some idiot. Enjoy on- your McDonald's Person. patty. Yeah. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.